As you probably already know, as a driver, whether it be rideshare or delivery, gas is going to be one of the biggest expenses that you're going to have to deal with. Given the situation that's going on in the world, gas has been at an all-time high. To combat this effect, a lot of companies like Uber, Lyft, and DoorDash added an additional fuel surcharge for customers to pay that will be passed on directly to the driver to help offset some of these costs. This was definitely a welcome addition to us as drivers. Unfortunately for Uber Eats drivers and DoorDash drivers, the conditions about this surcharge is about to change. So let's get into this. Hello everyone, this is Elijah with the Rideshare Guy. And I hate to say, but in this video, we're gonna be uh, covering the fact that uh, the additional fuel surcharge that was added to help uh, delivery drivers by DoorDash and by Uber is actually gonna be uh, ending soon. And in DoorDash's case, it has already uh, ended. As you can see in the screenshot right next to me, the surcharge for Uber East drivers will actually be ending on uh, June 15th. And in the case of DoorDash, the program was extended for the rest of April, but once April came and gone, it ended at the end of April without another extension happening. Now the thing about the additional surcharge that was helping drivers out on the Uber Eats side is that only the Uber Eats surcharge is going away. It will still be there for rideshare drivers, meaning the passengers will still be getting charged this uh, surcharge to help rideshare drivers out. But this won't be the case for Uber Eats customers and Uber Eats drivers. According to Business Insider, which this article will be linked in the description if you want to check it out, the companies are ending these programs as gas prices remain at record highs. The average cost of gas in the U.S. is $4.60 a gallon, according to AAA. That's up 12% from the price a month ago, which was already a record. Now that in itself is already drawing, but what's more drawing is exactly how this information was conveyed to us, the drivers. I say this because the way that the companies let drivers know that this program ended in the case of DoorDash or will be ending in the case of a Uber for Uber Eats is a very subtle and almost like they're trying to slide it under the radar just to avoid public backlash. In DoorDash's case, the news that DoorDash was ending its weekly fuel bonuses came alongside an announcement that it was extending its debit card program. And for Uber Eats drivers, an email was received with the subject line, extending the fuel assistance surcharge. But in the body of the email, they basically let us know that the program would end in mid-June. Now, obviously this is a sad thing as a driver because obviously any additional help is a good thing but um i do see where these companies are coming from if they just simply can't afford it anymore but uh, one thing i just uh, really can't defend is i feel like we should know when these programs are ending and it shouldn't be like kind of a uh, hidden behind like other news because we as drivers need to make plans i mean gas is obviously an expense and if we get a heads up that this surcharge is ending in the most efficient way possible, maybe we can start making adjustments so that we can plan around that obstacle. This means being more thrifty with your budget this month so you'll have more money to spend next month on gas since it's going to be a bigger expense. It could mean you cracking down on additional apps that can help you save money or get cash back on gas. But the way it came out, it almost seemed like they're trying to hide the fact that these programs would be ending behind other news and I don't too much care for that but I like to pass the question on to you how do you feel about this program ending well I'm safe to say that none of us like it but how do you feel about how the companies DoorDash and Uber Eats specifically let us know about the program ending and uh, as Uber Eats drivers I'm just gonna ask the question uh, why can't Uber keep both why do they have to suspend Uber Eats surcharge and uh, keep the rideshare one why can't they keep both? I don't understand why. They didn't provide a reason given that, so maybe one will come out later. But until they give a reason, I, I am gonna ask that question. Let us know in the comment section below. We would love to hear what you have to say. And if you would like to save money on gas and get cash back, I recommend you check out our GetUpside tutorial, which shows you how to get cash back at select gas stations via the GetUpside app. That does it for this video. If you have any questions or comments, we'd love to hear it in the comment section below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you found value in it. I'll catch you in the next video.